Hi, this is John Weber with EcoDirect. We are here today with Brian Hamlin of HomeGrid, and we're very excited to have you join us today and talk a little Absolutely. bit about uh, those lithium systems and uh, some compatibility across the board. Um, if you wouldn't mind, Brian, just give us a, a brief overview of sort of the, the HomeGrid product line, if you wouldn't mind, and mm -hmm. where it all sort of fits together, and uh, we'll go from there. All right, sounds good. Thanks for having me on, John. Yeah, thank uh, you. I'm Brian. I'm a regional manager for HomeGrid. So our product line, uh, I'd say by far our most popular product is the Stack Series battery. So it's designed for the residential market as a scalable, um, easy to install solution for the residential and small commercial market. And with that battery, um, you know, you said it's stackable. So what's the most basic size and then how big can you go with a single stack? Yeah, that's a really good question. Um, so we designed it, uh, it's very modular. Like I said, it's a 30 minute install. The, each of the modules is 4.8 kilowatt hours. You start with two, which is 9.6 kilowatt hours. And then you can incrementally scale. You stack them like Legos. There's no wiring in between the modules. You literally just stack them on top of each other. You can go up to a high, which is 38.4 kilowatt hours. And then you can run up to 15 in parallel, which is 576 kilowatt hours. So just out of the stack series, you can get... Yeah, that's a lot of power. Uh, yeah, half a megawatt of power. And so from the DIY or the installer's point of view, when they're adding those, uh, you said you didn't have to run any additional conductors. Is there a Cat5 cable that runs between the batteries up to the VMS, or how does that work? Oh, yeah, no. Like I said, you literally just stack them like Legos and through the uh, male and female port. Um, that's where the interconnection is done between the modules that are paralleled as you stack them. And no socket no socket driver required or anything. They just and well, there is. Okay, so you will need <laughs> you will need to be able to operate a Phillips head screwdriver ah, um, yes. to remove the side panels. But we actually took a lot of installer feedback um, saying they were annoyed with the screws. Um, so we cut that down to about a twenty minute install uh, with the new version of the battery. The side panels just pop off. So. Oh, okay. Nice. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. That's something that we like to do. We uh, have a really great relationship with our installer base, um, and we're always continually looking to improve. Uh, for the short term, we are moving assembly back to the U.S., so we're very agile as a company. Um, so any of those, you know, any feedback that we get from installers, we like to implement that immediately. Hi, this is John Weber with EcoDirect. We are here today with Brian Hamlin of HomeGrid, and uh, we're talking uh, about their stacked system. One of the big questions that we have for Brian is, you know, a lot of people are, are wanting to get into lithium or maybe do like AC coupling because they have an existing grid tie system, but they're not too sure on how much storage they're gonna need. And one of the cool things about HomeGrid is expandability. So you Absolutely. wanna- break that down, work small, and, and kind of how that expands out to future uh, storage? Yeah, absolutely. Thanks, John. Yeah. Um, so yeah, we, uh, we designed it as a, like a very utilitarian battery. So for retrofits, you can just actually AC couple into, say, like a solar converter. Um, and then with our battery system, the most cost-effective way to start is to just do two modules, um, 9.6 kilowatt hours. You can use that for your partial offset mm -hmm. and then just emergency backup. Um, if you do want to add more storage in the future, all you do is you power off the system, remove the BMS, and you stack another module on top like a Lego. Mm -hmm. And you reflip the switches and you've expanded not only your uh, storage capacity, but also your continuous output. The continuous right. output of the stack series uh, is achieved at 19.2 kilowatt hours, which is four modules. Um, and then you can go up to eight high for 38.4 kilowatt hours. And is there, so I installed the system, I'm doing time of use, self-consumption, uh, and I'm figuring out that I'm not quite hitting the mark. Uh, two years, three years from now, is there any time limitation on when I can add another couple of batteries with the home grid stack? Yeah, so there, there's not. Um, yeah, we, uh, we changed our warranty to a very transparent, honest throughput warranty. We started off with a industry standard 10-year, 4,000 cycle warranty. Then we found out that a lot of people define a cycle differently. So an easy fix to that was to just go to a throughput warranty. So per module, it's 14.11 megawatt hours. And when you add another one, that new 4.8 kilowatt hour module is then warrantied. From um, the install date. Oh, okay. So five years down the road, you want to add another module, that's fine. 
And then the BMS will balance the system. It'll just draw a little bit more from the brand new module at 100% state of health. So six years from now, if I need to add another uh, 9.6 kilowatt hours, just order a couple new batteries through EcoDirect, pop them in, and yeah. uh, you're good to go. Absolutely. And it is a good point uh, when we're talking about uh, throughput, because uh, if you're designing a system around uh, demand mitigation, you can do a lot of micro cycles a day, you could hit that 4,000 a lot sooner. Mm -hmm. And so having megawatt hour of throughput now makes it a predictable, fair playground uh, to know what your return on investment is uh, for those units. So that's awesome. Um, when we get up to uh, a full stack of how many, what's the maximum again? So it's eight modules, so 38.4 kilowatt hours per battery. And then you just bring in a second unit and, mm -hmm. and away you go. Yeah. If you brought in a, a second stack because you needed some new serious power, uh, how hard is it, is it, let's say, if you have a Solark 15 to add that second unit? Are you daisy chaining a little conductor? Or how does that all come together? Yeah, so you would you would parallel the systems through a common DC bus bar. Mm -hmm. And then from the DC bus bar, you run to the inverters. And uh, with your knowledge with the Solark 15, would you need to buy a little combiner box uh, from like Midnight Solar to do that? Or is there enough room in the Solark 15 to actually add two stacks to it? Um, so yeah, through the DC common bus, yeah, through anything Eco Direct sells, of course. Yeah, um, yeah, we can help yeah. you find what you need for that combiner box. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, you could, I mean, on one, if you wanted to, if you wanted that much capacity, you could do the full 15 units in parallel, 576 kilowatt hours, um, if you wanted that much storage, right. um, uh, through one solar 15k. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, just as long as you got a good bus bar system to, to manage all that capacity. Mm -hmm. And again, yeah. EcoDirect can help you design that uh, system out. So, Brian, thank you so much. We'll keep this one short. Appreciate it uh, on talking about uh, the, the stack system. And uh, as always, reach out to us at www.ecodirect.com or sales at ecodirect.com. Um, on the home grid side, what's the best way to get some education and whatnot? So that's uh, homegridenergy.com. We actually designed the, uh, the website as a training tool. So all of our certifications, um, install videos, full manuals, it's all available on our website. And I also highly encourage you to sign up for our installer certification program that's held every Friday. Uh, the link is on the website to register. Nice, well thank you so much, appreciate it. Absolutely. Mm -hmm.